It's Miss Maya from the Green Free Library, here to share another story time with you. Guess what? We're in a new month. That's right, it's now March. Our season's still the same though, it's still winter, though we are inching our way towards spring. I want to welcome everyone who's watching and sing hi to our friends. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause my friends are your friends and your friends are my friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Hi to Anna and Peter and Andrew and Cade, Quinn and Suri and Stanley and Henry and Lydia and Parker and Ava and Veda and Ella and Charlie and me. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. All right, good job. Let's sit down, guys. Show me those hands. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Give a little clap. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them, lay them in your lap. All right, so let's get our board and see how we spell our new month, okay? What's the month again? <laughs> March. All right, here we go. M-A-R-C-H. That, that month doesn't have nearly as many letters as the other months we've talked about. How many letters does it have? Let's count them. One two, three, four, five, just five. And our season's down here. It's still, what did I say? Chilly old winter, right? W-I-N-T-E-R, winter. Very good. Now, March has several special days in it. Uh, and one of which is today. So we're going to need a new March calendar. But first, let's finish putting hearts on the February calendar. Last time we were together, it was February 23rd. So we still have some days we could cover up with hearts. Right? And what days are those? 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. Yeah, because February is a shorter month. Most months have 30 or even 31 days, February just has 28. So we'll get our glue on here and we'll finish up those days, okay? I've got some hearts left. Here they are. Ready? 24, 25, 26, 27, one more, 28, all right, February is done, and now we need to move on, yes indeedy, to March, okay, are you ready, so I made a new calendar, yeah, oh, I better put it right side up, <laughs> there it is, does anybody know what shape this is? It's a shamrock, yeah. And does anyone know why I chose that shape for our calendar? It's because of the special day in March that happens on the 17th, St. Patrick's Day, all right? So that's why I made a shamrock. And I made some gold coins to put on it. Now today is Wednesday, March 2nd. And that's up here. So we'll need to put some coins on which days? One and two. All right, we need more glue. Hopefully they'll stick. I made this calendar out of cardboard and sometimes my shapes don't stick as well to that as they do to the poster board. But we'll give it a go, <laughs> okay? I've got my gold coins. Here they are, are you ready? Put it on number one. And number two, day two. Okay, we're off. March is underway. So I said today is March 2nd, uh, and it's actually a special day. 
it's the birthday of Dr. Seuss. Yep. And he wrote uh, a lot of children's books. I bet you even know some of them. I bet you know How the Grinch Stole Christmas. He wrote that. Yep. Uh, let's see. What else did I want to tell you about? Oh, I know. I wanted to tell you specifically about another special day. So we've got Dr. Seuss's birthday. <laughs> we've got St. Patrick's Day. And there's another special day uh, that's coming up on March 5th, which is Saturday. And it's a famous sled dog race that takes place in Alaska every year. It's called the Iditarod. Can you say that word? Iditarod, right? And it has teams. Uh, and each team consists of a man or a woman. And they're called uh, the musher. And they've got a sled and they've got dogs somewhere between 12 and 14 dogs, all right? And they race between two cities in Alaska. One is called Anchorage and the other is called Nome. <clears throat> and this race is very, very long. It's like over a thousand miles, can you imagine? And it can take anywhere between eight days and 15 days. That's over two weeks it can take for this race. And they race in all kinds of conditions. I mean, it might be snowy and blowy and really cold, and they go. And they, one of the reasons they started this race uh, 50 years ago uh, was to honor sled dogs and remember uh, how teams of mushers and dogs helped get important medicine to people who needed it back in 1925. So this <laughs> is Akira. Akira is a husky, and husky as are one of the breeds of dogs that make good sled dogs. All right, now uh, sled dogs need to be fast and smart and strong, and they need to love to run and pull a sled. All right, and um, they need to be in good health too, and that's why they have veterinarians that check all the dogs before the race to make sure they are in good health all right because they're not going to let any dogs race who aren't up to the challenge all right and these dogs love the race all right they love to pull the sleds they're working dogs and they're, it's what they're trained and made to do all right now if you'd like to learn more about the Iditarod uh, you can go to Iditarod.com and I'll put a, a link in the description uh, of this video all right Uh, since it is Dr. Seuss's birthday, I have a couple Dr. Seuss books that I want to tell you about. The first <laughs> is Fox and Socks. This is one of my favorites. I read it to you guys last year. It's just a fun tongue twister. It's so fun to read out loud and see if you can say all the words correctly. It's a challenge sometimes. And I also have another one of my favorites that I read last year. Green Eggs and Ham. It's another fun one to read out loud. And I think one of the things I like best about this one is, you know, the character insists he doesn't like these green eggs and hams, and he says he's not going to eat them anywhere, but he's never tried them. Now, how can you know if you don't like something if you don't try it? So when he does try it, he realizes, hey, he likes these. These are pretty good. <laughs> All right. I also have some sled dog books that I want to tell you about. Uh, this one is called The Great Serum Race by Debbie S. Miller with illustrations by John Van Zyl. And it's uh, for older children. It tells about the sled dogs uh, that brought medicine to the people back in 1925. And it's got some lovely illustrations. I'll show you one of them. Here you can see a musher and his dogs across the Atlantic, or excuse me, the Alaskan landscape. All right, so you should check that out. And I have Togo, written by Robert J. Blake, and he's written uh, a number of books about uh, sledding and sled dog races. And again, this is about uh, the 1925 sled race you know what well, wasn't really race they, they were racing against the clock you know to get the medicine to the people that needed it 
Um, and this is about one of the dogs specifically, and his name was Togo. And lastly, I have Sled Dog Poodles, all right, by Karen Morse and illustrated by Ginger Nielsen. And this is based on a true story about this man named John Souter who thought that poodles could be trained and bred to be sled dogs. And a lot of people, they thought maybe he was wrong about that, but he did it for a number of years and they could be sled dogs, all right? So I will take all those books back to the library and they'll be ready for you to borrow in a few days. Now, I don't have any songs about sled dogs today. Uh, I thought maybe we could just sing our polar bear song again that we learned last week. You want to give it a go? All right. Do you remember it? Did you ever see a polar bear, a polar bear, a polar bear? Did you ever see a polar bear sliding on ice? He slips and he slides, he twirls and he glides. Did you ever see a polar bear sliding on ice? Let's do that again. That's a short one. Ready? Did you ever see a polar bear, a polar bear, a polar bear? Did you ever see a polar bear sliding on ice? He slips and he slides, he twirls and he glides. Did you ever see a polar bear sliding on ice? No, I never did. <laughs> All right. Uh, for our art project today, in honor, in honor of the Iditarod sled dog race, we're going to make a husky dog mask out of a paper plate, all right? So you're going to need a paper plate, and you're going to need scissors and a piece of white paper, some glue, markers, a paper punch, stapler, yarn string, or shoelace. <laughs> One of those three things, all right? And as always, when we make these masks, you need to have an adult help you mark where your eyes should be cut out, and use the scissors and help you cut them out, all right? And you also need to cut two triangle-like shapes, and there they are, for the ears, all right, and out of your white paper. And then take a marker, um, black, gray, even brown, um, you know, because we want it to look like a husky, and go around the edges, and then staple those onto your paper plate. All right now, we need to. Uh, make a mark make markings because huskies have markings all right they're not just usually all one color so I took the same color marker I had black all right that I used for the ear tips and just kind of went up and around down where the nose would be and around and colored that all in all right. now you need to make a nose which a nose is just kind of like a circle but then straight across the top and a couple lines down for the mouth, and then I had fun, all right, uh, take your white piece of paper and uh, make a shape similar to the nose shape, and cut that out and color it pink, okay? Then you want to glue that on, and that's the tongue, all right? That's your husky dog's tongue. Now, take a paper punch and punch a hole on each side of your mask. That's if you want to wear it, actually, over your head, all right? And then I use a shoelace, but you can use a string or yarn, something. Tie it through each hole and adjust it so it fits on your head, okay? I'm a sled dog. <laughs> All right, and there we have our paper plate mask. Pretty good, don't you think? All right. So, uh, remember, you can register for in-person story time. Uh, in March on the Green Free Library website. There's a registration form, so go there and fill it out and send it in. Spaces are limited, but we're going to accommodate uh, the people first come, first serve. Uh, that's all I have for today, guys. Can you believe it? That went pretty fast. <laughs> well, I want to thank you for watching. As always, take care. And you know what? I will see you next time. Bye-bye.